Welcome, people from around the world, to a box break of 1920 Upper Deck Series. And this is actually a tin break of uh, the new Upper Deck Series 1. Well, new. Um, yeah, the new Upper Deck Series 1 hockey tin. Today I've got a special guest. I've got the Avs guy with me, which just happens to be my brother. Please go check him out. You can give him a subscribe if you like his content. There he is. That's his thumb. You can say hello. Hello. That was wonderful. All right, so uh, one tin of 1920 Upper Deck Series 1 hockey. Um, so what you expect in this is uh, nine packs, uh, which is kind of sad because there used to be uh, more than only nine. And uh, you also get a bonus um, pack with three, uh, what are they called? Three uh, Opeachy Glossy Rookie cards inside. And you get eight cards in every pack. Um, so, yeah. Let's just get into here. What I'm looking for out of this is a uh, Ryan Paling Young Guns that card. That would be phenomenal. Still missing collection. that. It would be phenomenal. You know what, if I could pull that, that'd be great. And also, we are splitting this box, but uh, we'll, since there are like nine packs and a bonus pack, we'll, we're just going like, to split the cards that we want afterwards. So what we end up pulling doesn't really matter. If he gets a Ryan Paling, I'll probably steal it from him. And if I pull a <laughs> Kale McCarr Young Guns canvas... Oh man, I would love that. That'll be his. Mm -hmm. If we do get a Jack Hughes or something, it'll be... Available for yep. sale, and yep. if we end up with like a Brendan Gignac or something, we're going to be disappointed, and it's going to be a sad video. Uh, without further ado, ooh, I'm, I'm not going to use scissors because I don't want to damage the tin. Yeah, um, because this tin is pretty beautiful. That's probably one of the nicest ones. Sidney Crosby on the cover, and look at that. That's a cool tin. And I can't remember. Do you get a jumbo card? In this I year's think offering. they removed that. Since the, the bonus pass, I think uh, it's uh, All right. not a feature anymore. I can't get this. Uh, here we go. All right. So, there's our tin. And uh, beautiful. That, that's awesome. Very nice tin. Let's open it up. So, yeah, no bonus card. And this is how it, uh, it comes. So, we've got yeah. the uh, bonus <laughs> OPG Glossy pack with uh, Kale McCarr on the front. Love that guy. And then all of our packs there. I'm guessing five there. Four there, so I'll go on. I'll open this side, and you can go on that side or something like that. Yep. Yes. Um, this <laughs> used to have a jumbo card, but now you don't. Um, actually, let's get our packs out, and then we'll put the box in the background. So grab. Oh, struggling to grab the packs here. So we have five packs here, and then uh, yeah, I'll get them out for you. Okay. Uh, let's dump them out. Actually, here you go. So we got. Um, there are the packs, and. Uh, Okay, and the tin in the background, um, nice and center for this break. I'm going to start with the uh, Opeachy um, pack, but first I want to read you the odds that we've got here. I'm sure you can go check them online, but uh, just main odds we're looking for. Young Guns, 1 in 4 packs. Young Guns, Canvas cards, 1 in 48. Um, and Jersey cards, 1 in 75. If we do get a day with the cup, that is 1 in 5,000. 2019 NHL draft short prints won in what is that 32,400 packs and a cer ceremonial puck drop is one in 5,000 so that's pretty uh, pretty tough odds yeah these are thickness of, the, of these packs and the Opeachy glossy packs um, let's see I don't see any odds on here so we're just hoping for some good names I know there are parallels but I don't know how rare they are and uh, I really like what, uh, what you it around extra Packs it. I think that's pretty cool. So uh, this is a parallel. This is, uh, I think, the bronze parallel, and uh, we got Eric Brandstrom, wow. rookie. Uh, so top corner bricks. If you're watching this one, <laughs> Eric Brandstrom, that's your guy. Um, oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, oh, and, it even, and it even has like the that's the back. Yeah, yeah. the back is the old glossy. Steel, in front. I like that. And uh, in front, this is the. And, Imagine uh, then afterwards an ass card. That would be perfect. So we got Ryan wow. Paling. <laughs> I'm super happy with Ryan Paling, and I'm not going to flip it over because we're going to see the next one, but let's just slow roll. Actually, the name's on top. Who do we have here? Ducks, left wing. Ducks, left wing. Who is this? Uh, Max Jones? It is Max Jones. Wow, Max guess. Jones, rookie. So, uh, that's, so that's pretty cool. I like these packs. They're, uh, they're different for sure. And uh, I, I mean, I'm happy to get a Ryan Paling, and uh, I mean... the. I like it. It's a nice bonus pack. Do you mind if I start? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So you can uh, go with your pack. Two young guns we're expecting in the box of this. I'm pretty sure you have a chance at a third young guns. Um, but, I mean, we shouldn't be expecting one. It's would the young guns, can the would young guns canvas count as... No, young guns canvas cards don't count as a young guns card. Okay, so we've got Radic Fox on. Brent Seabrook. 
horizontal card. Cody Eakin. And oh, that's a, a good canvas, canvas, canvas of Connor McDavid. It's a checklist of Connor McDavid and Alex Ovechkin. Yeah, that's definitely a good one to get, I yeah. think. Two great players. JT Comfer, Zach Hyman, Brandon Saad, and Nino Niederreiter. All right, pack number two of this box. Wow. Yeah, packs open up pretty nicely. Um, we've got, all right, Andre Palat. It'd be nice if you both got a... Mackenzie Blackwood, Rasmus Dahlin, yeah. and I've got an all-base pack here. Matt Murray, Alex Killorn, Sean Couturier, Eric Stahl, and Rupe Hintz. His Young Guns is in 18-19. Uh, it's probably one of the ones to get because uh, he's been so good. I mean, he's going to be great. It's going to go up in value, I'm sure, in the next few years. I'm hoping for a big-name Young Guns out of this. Yeah, for sure. Nikita Kucherov. It's an interesting jersey. Jake Muzzin, Patrick Cornquist, Darren Helm. Oh, and right. oh, okay, that's a name I recognize. A young guns of Rudolph Balsers. Great name. I'm uh, pretty sure he's Latvian. I, I remember mistaken. pulling one of his cards in um, our HL break a long time ago. Yeah, he's a he's a good player, good prospect or, uh, for the Ottawa maybe, Senators. Maybe it was, uh, and I don't have his young guns, so um, we can decide who who will. Get that one at the end, and that's a, that's a cool awesome. card. All right, wow. um, this is my second pack of um, in series one. If you know who uh, Balser is, yeah, goes with, because sometimes they do have uh, pairings. These young guns, we do have another young guns here, so I'm um, gonna go nice and slowly. Yeah. So hoping for a huge name here. Not sure though. Probably not. Tins, you, you got a small chance. Uh, we have Chris Kreider, Marcus Sorensen, Christian Dvorak, Taylor Hall, new, a new member of the Arizona Coyotes, got yeah, an, an assist trade. on the game winner in his first game. Uh, S.L. Lindell, David Krejci, and Roberto Luongo, and... Oh, it's a shark. That can't be good. Mario Ferrero. Wow, wow. All right, now we're, uh, we're looking... Oh. We're looking for maybe a Young Guns canvas or a jersey. So I'm going to save this bird. You know, it's really hit or miss with us, these ones, because you might get excellent Young Guns for one excellent ones, or you might get nothing. At least you do get the OPG or Lossy Rookies Path. Fogel. Yeah, that's a nice addition. So, uh, next, Eric Gustafson. Gustafson. Uh, Pavel Bushnovich. TJ Oshie. Oh, all uh, base. David Severson, yep. Alexander Barkov, Dylan Larkin, and uh, Justin Schultz. This might be the last of a Series 1 I opened. Maybe not. Maybe that's a lie. You're I'm a fan a of it. This year. I have. I've opened a total of, uh, well, four and one-third hobby boxes. Um, and uh, now a tin. Might get some more. We'll have to see. Um, so we might, we're looking now for some bonus stuff. Uh, Palmieri, Dominic Simon. Kasperi Kapanen, Seth Jones, UD Portraits, oh. Carter Hart. Oh, darn it. That, right. that was a rookie for a second, but nope. Nope, that was last year. Jonathan So Taves. weird to see this. Elise Pedersen. Jesper Bratt. Okay. So, uh, come on, come on. Three packs to go in this box, I think. Is it three? Yeah, three packs to go. And oh. uh, we're still hoping maybe for Young Guns Canvas. Uh, we haven't... It, uh, yeah, there you go. One of the oh, wow. shooting stars. That's this a is red a red one. one. So I'm pretty this... sure they're, they're rare, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So that's still pretty cool. Oh, to Karask. Yeah. Very interesting. And then the rest is all base. Okay. This is my final pack. So hoping for anything but base. Come on. Anything but a base pack. You'd be happy really with a jersey, a jersey yeah. with a... Uh... An autograph, maybe? Or no? No. No autographs in retail. Um, seems like all base, pretty sure. Josh Bailey, Shifley, Hedman, Quick, Tierney, Shabbat, Daniel Sprong, and, oops, uh, Braden Holby, oh, all no. base. Oh, no. Last pack mojo, come on. Fingers crossed. I'm thinking probably one of the, uh, what are they called? Pure energy cards. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, well, I think they're guaranteed in the box, so they're okay. not so nice, but, uh, it's better to get oh, a young to No, you got a portraits. Rookies, oh, oh, that's a good one to get. You know what, that's... Um, Alexandre Texier, but French it won't be worth born. too much once it comes out on EPAC. That's one thing, though. Um, at least, it, at least it's a good rookie to get. So, uh, 
Clark can you hear me, my man? Get back from injury. Um, so that was the Tin of Series 1. Definitely not the best one that we've had in the world, but I am happy with these uh, three OPG glossy. I'm going to be honest, I think this guy's pretty promising. I'm not going to lie. sponsors. Might I think be. this my one. This, this one we should hold on to. So uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think of these tins now that they have the three glossy rookies per, I think, uh, I don't know, I'd rather have 12 packs and um, three young guns than this pack of extras, but uh, it depends what you, what you prefer to collect. And with all that said, thank you so much for watching this unboxing of um, the Sydney Crosby Tin 1920 Upper Deck Series 1. Please, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and a comment down below. And as always, I will see you all next time.